Hi, my name is Xing Wan, and I work at Intel. Today, I'm going to talk about how to build trusted cloud applications with the WebAssembly on Intel SGX. The presentation contains a few use cases provided by Michael Bowman from Intel and Jia Zhang from Alibaba. Building a trusted cloud application is not an easy job. If you are the application owner, you probably concern how to protect your cloud code and the data from being accessed by either the CSP, hackers, or other malicious cloud applications. For the CSP, they need to ensure their infrastructure can resist the attacks from any malicious cloud applications. They also need to prove to their customers their concerns can be solved technically. And also in some cloud applications, it will consume the data from third party. We also need to address the data owner's concerns for data leaking or misusing. It is hard to address all the challenges by pure software solution. Typically, we need to leverage some hardware capability, such as trusted execution environment, or we call it TEE. The TEE provides hardware-based isolation for the code execution and the data. TEE usually provides remote attestation capability that is also very needed for building trusted cloud applications. Intel SGX is the most, most researched, updated, and battle test hardware-based TE for the data center. It's available across the entire line of Ice Lake scalable processors. It uh, delivers the smallest pot potential attack surface of any TEE available for the data center. On the S Lake Xeon processor, the SGX supports up, up to one terabyte protected enclaves of data and the code. WebAssembly provides a lightweight sandbox that supports scalable concurrent execution of different Watson modules. By using Watson on SGX, we can leverage SGX to protect the applications from external attacks and also leverage the Watson sandbox to protect the host environment from internal attacks by malicious applications. WebAssembly Micro Runtime, or WAMR, is an open source project on the bytecode lines with supporting SGX as the first class citizen. WAMR provides a full feature set for SGX support. Firstly, the WAMR is designed for small TCB, as it is a, it's a total binary size can be around 100 kilobytes. And the one supports interpreter and the ahead of time compilation for the Watson execution on SGX enclave. The libc is also supported for the Watson application based on Intel SGX SDK. The Watson CMD is also supported by one on the SGX. We have uh, built some IA framework such as TensorFlow to Watson and successfully executed from SGX Enclave. 
So far, Wama has a, a good adoption progress by either open source or commercial usage with SGX. Now I will get introduction for a few solutions that is warmer on SGX. Private data objects is an open source project and Hyperledger Labs that enables sharing of data and the correlating action among mutual dis distributing parties. PDO provides a secure framework for loading version based smart contracts into SGS Enclave and execute it with WebAssembly micro runtime. Enclave Container is another open source project that uses WASM on SGX. The Enclave project is an infrastructure that built confidential containers for PEE and extend Kubernetes across different TEEs. As the diagram illustrates, the Enclave container can build the WASM modules and the WAMA runtime into a confidential container with some new plugin and the components that they introduced into this project. The confidential containers can be orchestrated by the Kubernetes across the TE. This is a great project that solves the challenges without application modifications. The last use case here is a usage of using WASM SGX for multi-party computation. In this use case, each party develops a WASM application that can be either data consumer or data supplier, or in both roles. All the parties review the source code of WebAssembly applications and assign the binary modules. A base infrastructure will load the WASM modules into SGX Enclave and support establishing secure and trustworthy channel between the WASM modules. In such way, the multi-parties can share the data for computation safely. I have finished the presentation and thank you for listening. If you are interested, please go to the GitHub and the download Warmer and try it out with SGX. Thanks.